Breaking news. Look what was found inside the body of an Korean defector. Military on high alert. The military is on edge after a terrifying discovery was made inside of the body of a man who defected from North Korea. The man recently made news when dramatic video showed him literally running for his life as North Korean soldiers gave chase, shooting at him and wounding him five times before he was able to make it across the border, where South Korean soldiers eventually rescued him. Ever since, he's been under the care of doctors in the South and they made a rather chilling discovery after running several tests on him, he's immune to anthrax. The New York Post reported that the discovery has military leaders believing that North Korea has weaponized the bacteria and plans to use it against its western enemies. From the Post A North Korean soldier who defected to the South was found to have antibodies to anthrax, triggering concerns the rogue regime has weaponized the deadly bacteria, According to reports Tuesday, the man, who was either exposed to or vaccinated for anthrax, had developed immunity to the deadly disease before defecting, UPI reported, citing local channel A. A South Korean intelligence official who spoke on condition of anonymity did not say which of the four soldiers who fled the hermit kingdom this year had the antibodies in his system. The discovery is causing concern in Seoul because the disease can kill at least 80% of those who are exposed to the bacterium in 24 hours unless antibiotics are taken or vaccination is available. Previously, we reported that the hermit country has been testing various missiles as of late, one of which was said to be loaded with the deadly bacteria. Anthrax is an acute disease caused by the bacteria Bacillus anthracis. Most forms of the disease are lethal and it affects both humans and other animals. There are effective vaccines against anthrax, and some forms of the disease respond well to antibiotic treatment. Producing large amounts of anthrax in outer form, necessary for its use as an effective large-scale weapon, is a complicated and expensive process. It requires the use of large centrifuges for repeated washings, and then intensive drying to produce the concentrated or military-grade powder. The cost of this technology has led some experts in the United States to argue that the instigators of the present campaign must be a country, with previous experience, stocks, and the necessary biotechnological expertise. North Korea has started experiments such as heat and pressure equipment to prevent anthrax from dying even at a high temperature of over 7,000 degrees generated at the time of ICBM's re-entry into the atmosphere, the report stated. In part, there is unconfirmed information that it has already succeeded in such experiments. The North has claimed that the U.S. is cooking up untruths as truths with its claims that the dictatorship is attempting to create ICBMs capable of delivering anthrax, however, with the discovery of anthrax antibodies in the defector's body, it's almost a near certainty that's what Kim Jong-un and his military are up to.